many things at work in my mind these days. <clears throat> One is it's cold outside, even in North Carolina. <clears throat> I know it's not as cold as up north. You northerners, leave me alone. <laughs> I've lost all my northern blood, okay? I've turned into a southern blood person. And uh, it's a little bit chilly to do plein air painting, so I've been scouring the internet to look for images. That's one that's cold outside. Number two, I've got an inclination these days to do more recognizable purdy pictures. Boy, that's a mouthful, and it almost hurts for me to say it, but that's what I'm working on. And third, I've, uh, if I'm going to do purdy pictures, I'm thinking most of them I want to be American scenes. So I just spent actually a couple hours online. Uh, looking for images. And speaking of being online, let me mention that if you decide to do some searching on Google, Google has really helped you a lot. Click on advanced settings and one of the tabs there is permissions granted, degrees of copyright permission given by the photographer to reproduce their work and if you click on that and click on one that says that it's free to use then you're safe okay so that's a really good tip if you don't know that already do some investigation on google and you can find a lot of images i think all the images i found today i think i have permission to use this first one i actually sent two dollars to the to the photographer because the website uh made it easy to do that so that was kind of cool um so i'm doing gouache sketches quick little shout out to uh james gurney if you don't know james gurney if you're not subscribed to james gurney you should be he's uh of dinotopia fame he's he's one of one of us who was famous uh long before uh, youtube showed up and so he's got a real head start in uh, getting followers and so forth, but a really, really good artist. Very fun, different, different approach from you know many of the, I don't know what to call them, smart, smart, <laughs> smart artists that you find online. There's a lot of those. I hope to be smart, but I hope not to be a smart. You know what? And uh, James is is definitely not one of those. Very likable guy, and uh, I watched him yesterday do some sketches in gouache and it made me think huh i should do more of that sketches and gouache now you should also mention that my buddy mike rooney who i've mentioned a couple times we paint together every year uh, he also um does sketches and gouache so it's not like i'm unfamiliar with the concept it was just a little added inspiration yesterday and as you can see or maybe you can't see i'm sorry let me zoom in here as you can see, I'm trying to do <clears throat> a rough sketch of uh, the, the archway entering Washington Square Park in uh, New York City. Now, I, I, as I said, I started out just searching for pretty pictures. Let me let you see what I'm doing here. Searching for pretty pictures anywhere in the world, especially in America. And then after a while, I said, wait a minute, I should limit this search only to places that I have been. So I didn't take all these pictures myself, but I could have. Well, if I was a good enough photographer, theoretically, I could have taken all these pictures. So I'm, I'm painting places where I have been. I actually have some delightful personal memories uh, myself of Washington Square Park in New York City sitting there watching old guys play um, chess and a whole bunch of other stuff really fun i got to spend a week in new york several years ago painting and had an absolutely delightful time i probably should have gotten all this squared away before hey georgi am i saying that right oh, 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 oh. Should have gotten this all squared away before I brought you in, so I, I hit the go button a little prematurely. As you can see, I'm still just getting my my studio set up here. So there's my reference. Here's my image. Here's a bunch of brushes. And here's some rinse water up here. Okay, for those of you who are not familiar with gouache, here's a funny story. Um, 
I resisted using gouache for years and years and years as a, as a young man, um, simply because I didn't know how to pronounce the word. <laughs> I, know, I didn't realize that was why I was resisting uh, using gouache, gouache, go o, go oosh, go ueshe. <laughs> I didn't realize that's why I was not using gouache. <laughs> but <laughs> after a while, I discovered, oh, you know what? The reason I don't buy this stuff in the store is because I don't know how to pronounce the word. So I'll give some of you a, a little heads up. It's gouache. <laughs> Pure and simple, gouache. And uh, it's a water-based paint, but it's a lot like watercolor. I mean, it is a watercolor, but it's a lot like watercolor, but it's opaque. And um, you use uh, gouache very opaquely, typically. So uh, especially for those of you who do watercolor, gouache is a nice, easy transition if you're thinking of transitioning, it's an easy transition from um, watercolor to, say, uh, acrylics, and from there possibly to oil. Not that you need to follow that trajectory, but just in case you were wondering, that's a, a nice way to go. Gouache is very popular among illustrators because it's a very uh, direct, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong for you English majors, but that I'm trying to bring emphasis. It's a very direct <laughs> medium. Uh, you, what you put down, what you put down is what you get. And it's also very uh, forgiving because you can re-wet things after you've put them down. So I'm sort of painting and not thinking perhaps as much as I should be thinking here right now. So let me paint just a little more than, than talk for a moment. Well, you know what I don't have out here? I don't have any black in gouache. That's an oversight. I didn't even realize I don't have any black. So let me mix up something dark really quickly. So gouache is very popular with illustrators. A lot of illustration work is done or had, used to be done. Now it's all done in Photoshop or in Illustrator. I, I understand that. But back, <laughs> back in the olden days when people actually drew things, gouache was a, was a popular medium. I'm looking for a neutral, too dark. Looking for a neutral bluish gray for this side of this arch here. Now, one, again, one of the things I want to do in this little study is throw stuff down very quickly and play with composition. And as I said, I, I'm 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 not playing very well right now because I'm I'm a little distracted, too busy talking to you guys. I think normally I don't have any trouble painting and talking at the same time, but today I seem to be a little distracted. No worry, we will get through it, won't we? <laughs> How was your Christmas? I'm assuming most of the people that I'm talking to celebrated the Christmas season. We had an awesome time. Our son and his wife and their new baby from Flagstaff, Arizona were with us. And uh, so for a number of days, we had five little children, five toddlers and infants in the house. You haven't had Christmas, so you've had Christmas with five little kids. <laughs> um, Now again, I feel like I probably should have taken more time to think about this composition before I just started throwing paint around. But it's it's an inexpensive experiment. I can throw this out and start another one in a matter of minutes. Um, and of course, gouache <clears throat> is an opaque medium. Opaque medium. That means, of course, that I can come back 
with um, white or light colors and work on top of this any of these darks that I've just that I've just put down here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a minute while all of that is drying and I'm gonna pick up a Prismacolor colored pencil and just do a little bit of the so there's some man standing here maybe it's George Washington I don't know I certainly didn't pay attention to this gate the days that I was at Washington Park but it would make sense here's a man with whoops broke that pencil let's grab another one real quick um, it would make sense that this was George no here's George Washington on the over here on the far side I recognize him here so I don't know who this is a man in a three-corner hat standing right here doesn't matter of course I'm not gonna be doing <laughs> anywhere near a portrait of these people but working in pencil does a couple things. Hey, Georgi. <laughs> and forgive me, Georgi, am I saying your name correctly? Help me. I'm saying... Is it Georgi or Guy? Georgi. And I hope when you comment, I'll, my eye will catch the, the notification in my screen over here to my left. And while we're at it, where are you from, my friend? Thank you for joining us today. Um, so while, I, as I said, while I'm doing this line work, um, some of the earlier stuff can be drying, and that's a great advantage. And of course, as you know, I, in particular, I like the combination of, um, no, <laughs> I did not pronounce it right at all. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Or, or is that, no, you're not from Germany. I'll try to catch it. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Well, anyway, in any case, thanks for joining me today. Um, I was saying I like the combination of, um, I call it blobby paint and scratchy pencil. I like, I like the way those two entities interplay with each other. Okay, let's do some people in here as well. And I'll start by, that will certainly help give a sense of scale. Is it, okay, Georgie or George A or Jorge. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm probably going from bad to worse. I'll say Georgie. Okay. <laughs> and you're from America. Okay, very good. <laughs> Hi, Georgie. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. And I just broke my second uh, Prismacolor pencil in his, in his many minutes. So I'm going to graduate to a litho crayon. I don't even know what kind of marks it makes. Well, thank you for joining me. There are trees over here. Let me use, I have a brown pencil here that I believe will work pretty well. Georgie, good, very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me out here. Good to have you. Um, let me make a little announcement to uh, some of you regulars and perhaps you new people as well um i am i have been doing this daily art adventures for nearly one year now i started on january 1st 2017 so next week next monday it will be one year and in the back of my mind i was giving myself one year to work out the bugs now, as you can see i haven't worked them all out yet because i just changed cameras a few weeks ago but i'm i'm, I'm a lot better than it was a, a, a year ago and uh, i'm going to make two changes to my my channel here in the near future one is i'm going to stop um having allowing google to put ads on my youtube videos so i like everybody say yay no more ads so when you come to my video you won't be you don't have to wait three or four seconds or whatever to to start the video you can just start right into it so yay for that now along with that here is what I'm going to do I'm gonna put a small donate button on all of my videos and I'm gonna ask those of you who would like to and again only those of you who would like to 
I would like I'm going to give you the opportunity to send me a small donation to help me produce more and better videos and um, we'll see how that goes okay now let me grab a tissue just blot up anything that's not dry by now and here is a fresh tube of white gouache or gouache for those of you who don't know how to pronounce the word like I didn't for many years <laughs> it is not gouache it's gouache <clears throat> and uh, let's pick up some of this white and let's come in here and do just some highlights This is a really beautiful photograph that I'm working from. Let me show it to you again. Um, again, I'm sorry I don't have the name of the person. I found it online today. I did send the the uh, the photographer a two dollar contribution. Um, he wasn't insisting, but I thought, well, that that photograph is worth two dollars. I mean, it's worth a lot more than that. You know what I mean? My use of it is worth two dollars, and I'm usually you know, somewhat inclined to help a fellow artist. So I'm going to put a donate button somehow. I don't have this done yet. I don't even know what, what kind of donate button I'm going to put on there. Probably PayPal. And uh, instead of having commercials that you have to wait through, um, I'll give you the opportunity to send a small contribution. I hope that that... hope that that pleases most of you I'm going to do basically just one more thing to this sketch one of the reasons for doing sketches of course is to um, map out plan ahead how you're going to do the larger painting which I certainly plan to do in this case hi Ruth good to hear from you yeah, though, isn't it amazing how much how much of a difference just a few little highlights makes? I'm always amazed when that happens. Just a little bit of light, and all of a sudden things start coming alive a little bit. Good to hear from you. Okay, I think I'm actually going to stop right there. That's just a very small sketch. Now, let's do one thing before you go. Let's do one thing. Well, two things. I'm, going to <laughs> I'm always doing that, aren't I? As I say, like a bad preacher. Just one more point. <laughs> and then he rattles on for 14 more minutes. Just one more point. Um, I want to add some warmth to this side. It's catching. It looks to me like it's catching a morning sun here so that's what I'm going with that impulse <laughs> no, no, not so rich in money <laughs> well that's quite all right those of you who are not rich in money I hope that you will simply pass my name on to other artists and uh, help me get help me get more followers. How about that? How about that? I'm putting pressure on you now, aren't I? Um, either make a donation or just tell your artsy friends about me. <laughs> and, and I'm being facetious. I guess. Of course, I'm not forcing you to do anything. I enjoy having you here whether you make a contribution or not. So, and I don't expect most people to make a contribution. That's just how the world works and uh, but some of you will and perhaps some of them some of you will make a, a, a difference in my my work I will tell you that as a full-time professional artist uh, one thing this past year has taught me is that what I enjoy more than anything else is uh, painting 
but not painting alone. Isn't that funny? It's an unusual, unusual characteristic. Most artists love painting alone. I like painting with an audience. Very strange, I know, but true. Okay, I'm going to stop. Let me show this to you a little bit closer if I can. Whoops, too close. There we go. I'm getting there. Thank you, Ruth. Yeah, the, the, warm, the warmth was a good idea. Thank you, Georgie. Appreciate it. Okay, so I'll maybe mess around with that. That was my quick, my quick take on the gate in New York City the gate to Washington Square Park. So maybe that will turn into a big painting, maybe it won't. Okay, before we go then, here, let's do this. This part's always fun. The great reveal. When you take off the wrapping, it looks so much better. I like the, I like the, the crisp edges that masking creates like this. So I'm, I do most of my watercolors these days I do a, a mask of some kind. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> there we go. I'll sign it down there, and uh, that'll be available for, at the moment, 25 bucks. I'll make a post on, on YouTube about it. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be back in just a little while. A little while. Yeah, good. I hope, I hope my painting's a little better than the photograph. That is the idea.